Today's Japanese slang terms are two poses which are currently popular that have come from Korean. The first is the puin puin pozu. Now this phrase comes from this Korean word, which I'm not going to try to pronounce, but you can see by the romanization there that it's close to puin puin, which means absolutely nothing at all. However, the use of this term in Korea started around 2011, and there are a few sources that confirm that. The first is that it was known for its use in the TV show High Kick, specifically the third season, wherein a character says puin puin while fake crying and asking for a gift. Around the same time, the K-pop band Kara also started to use this term in a variety of videos. You can see some clips here. <laughs> And then finally, as the third part of evidence, here's the Google Trends chart for Puin Puin in Korean. And as you can see, it had a huge spike in 2011, a pretty quick fall from fame there. Although, don't think it's dead, you can absolutely find people still using it on Twitter in Korean. As for which source was first, I can't really tell you that. I read some people online saying it was the High Kick video, but really, who knows? Who knows where they got it from? What is unquestionable, though, is that Japanese people were aware of this and started jumping onto it and calling it the Puin Puin pose, imitating what you saw in those videos also by 2011, so the same year that we're seeing it take off in Korean. Here's a gigantic list of tweets using it at that time, just as evidence, and yes, it is still seeing use today. So while its potential initial use in that Korean drama was to kind of pretend to cry to ask for something, in Japanese it never had that like, oh I'm asking impression, it was just this pose here. The second term is then the kopachimu pose, which is harder to say, and this comes from this Korean word, which does mean something, and that is the calyx, or kind of the outer floral envelope, which I don't fully understand what that means, but basically the outside of a flower, in Korean. This pose is made by putting your hands like this, so again, making that kind of flowery gesture, as you can see here. This pose is arguably newer, as it is said to come around 2018. I have one source that says that the origin was the singer and actor Park Ji-hoon. However, on Twitter, the oldest post that I can find in Japanese using this actually shows the singer-songwriter Ha Sung Woon. But arguably, you shouldn't trust any of this Japanese data, as the earliest post I can find using this phrase in Korean goes back to 2012 and doesn't use either of these actors. Indeed, it would respectively be 13 and 18 at the time of this tweet you're seeing here, so I don't think that they were popular enough at that age to be influencing how people do poses throughout Korea at that time. So while the best thing we can do kind of a 2011 start for the Puin Puin Pozu and a 2012 in Korea, but then 2018 or so start in Japan for the Kopachimu Pozu, there's no question that both of these are being active in Japan. They are not old hat at all, and indeed that makes sense because they're done down here rather than at the top of your head. See you next time.